by the ocean. It never fails to surprise us, and that's not a surprise in itself, as only 5% of the world's oceans have actually been explored. Thus, every new discovery surprises, and even baffles us at times. Especially number one, so stay tuned for that. Here are 10 of the most surprising underwater discoveries caught on camera. Number 10. The Yanaguni Monument. The Yanaguni Monument, located just off the coast of Ryukyu Island, Japan, is a massive underwater rock formation that is speculated to have existed for more than 10,000 years. But whether the formation is completely man-made, or entirely natural, or has been altered by human hands is still up for debate. The monument was first discovered in 1986 by a diver searching for a good spot to observe hammerhead sharks. After its discovery, Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist at the University of the Ryukyu, explored the monument for nearly two decades. Kimura remains convinced that the site was carved thousands of years ago when the landmass was above water. According to Kimura, the Yanagumi's numerous right angles, strategically placed holes and aesthetic triangles are signs of human alteration. He also claims that carvings exist on the monuments, resembling kind of script. He believes that a pyramid, castle, road, monument, and a stadium can be identified within the structure, which for him is evidence that the monument is what remains of the lost continent of Mu, the Japanese equivalent to Atlantis. Number 9. The Underwater City of Xichang Xichang is an ancient Chinese city that was established around 1300 years ago. Also known as the Lion City, it was built at the foot of Wuxi Mountain in Zhejiang, China. The Lion City was built during the Eastern Han Dynasty and was first set up as a country in 208 AD. It was once the center of politics and economics in the eastern province of Zhejiang. Today it lies under 130 feet of water, but how did it get there? Well, actually, that's not much of a mystery, as the city and the valley were deliberately flooded in 1959 in order to create an artificial lake and hydroelectric power station. The discovery of the city isn't all that shocking either, as everybody knows it's down there. For decades, people rarely thought about the submerged city until 53 years later, when someone thought of diving down to the city to see how it's doing. He was pleasantly surprised that the entire city remains intact. The entire city, complete with temples, memorial arches, paved roads, and houses, had become a time capsule as almost every structure was completely intact, including wooden beams and stairs. And due to all that, it's now a favorite destination of divers. Number 8. The Underwater River There is an underwater river flowing under the ocean in Mexico, and you've got to see it to believe it. Located just 15 minutes away from Tulum on the Yucatan Peninsula, this submerged natural wonder will blow your mind. Approximately 180 feet below the ocean's surface, this freshwater river is separated from the saltwater above by a layer of hydrogen sulfate. Because of the limited visibility during the descent through this hydrogen sulfate cloud, only advanced scuba divers are allowed to make this dive. The cloudy layer is termed a halocline, an area where freshwater and saltwater meet. The haze is due to the sharp contrast and salinity. Once through the fog, fallen trees and leaves can be seen on either side of the river. This is just one of many sea notes, or natural sinkholes, that formed as a result of groundwater being exposed by collapsing limestone bedrock nearly 6,500 years ago. Sea notes are especially common in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, and because of their mystic and unique qualities were once used by the Maya for sacrificial offerings. Number 7. The Lost City of Heracleion Many thought that this city was just a legend, until its surprising discovery under the sea. After searching for years by screening the vast area of the Abu Kir Bay off the coast of Egypt, French archaeologist Frank Godillo and his team saw a colossal face emerge from the watery shadows. Godillo had finally encountered Thonis Heracleion, completely submerged 6.5 kilometers off Alexandria's coast. Among the underwater ruins were 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure trove of gold coins, a statue standing at 16 feet, and most notably the remains of a massive temple to the god Amun Gareb, and the tiny sarcophagi for the animals that were brought in there as offerings. And that last part's actually pretty sad. The ruins and artifacts made from granite and diorite are remarkably preserved, and they also give a glimpse into what was, 2300 years ago, one of the great port cities of the world. The arbor of Thonis Heraclion controlled all the trades into Egypt. Built around its grand temple, the city was crisscrossed with a network of canals, a kind of ancient Egyptian Venice, and its islands were home to small sanctuaries and homes. Once a grand city, today its history is largely obscured and no one is quite sure how it ended up entirely underwater. Number 6. 
the underwater train graveyard. Off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey resides a mysterious wreck that has historians and enthusiasts puzzled as to its story. Lying in 90 feet of water are a pair of steam locomotives, which lay at the bottom of the sea for over 100 years before being discovered. When divers first encountered this on site in the Atlantic, no one had a clue about the origin of this underwater train wreck site. The locomotives were discovered by diver Paul Helper while he was mapping the bottom of the ocean. He was using his magnetometer when all of a sudden he received two huge signals. He initially thought that it was an unknown sunken ship, but he was soon surprised with an even bigger mystery. Railroad aficionados excitedly examined photos, counting wheels and peering closely at the remains of smokestacks, all of which could offer vinyl details as to the train's origins. But still, no one can figure out where the trains come from. The most widely accepted explanation is that the engines were being shipped from Boston to New York and were possibly pushed or washed overboard in a storm. Why the crew wouldn't have reported missing two steam locomotives once they made port is anyone's guess. I'm guessing they weren't being paid enough, though. Number 5. Michigan Stonehenge A strange stone formation with more than a passing resemblance to Great Britain's Stonehenge lies at the bottom of Lake Michigan. The monolith's origins are unknown, but they are thought to be thousands of years old. The site was uncovered by Mark Holley, a professor of underwater archaeology at Northwestern Michigan University College, and his colleagues Brian Abbott in 2007 while they crossed the lake in a ship loaded up with some sonar equipment. But the discovery has thrown up more questions than answers over the years. The plot thickened when a carving of a Macedon, a distant relative of the elephants that's been extinct for over 10,000 years, was discovered on one of the pillars, suggesting its origins could stretch all the way back to the last ice age. A similar monolith has also been discovered in Europe, this time in salt water off the coast of Sicily. Although experts believe these stones once served as a primitive form of lighthouse technology. Number 4. The Galleon San Jose Often called the Holy Grail of shipwrecks, the San Jose Galleon was owned by the Spanish Navy. It was sunk by British warships during a battle off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia in 1708. When it sunk, it was carrying $17 billion worth of gold, silver, and emeralds. For centuries, the San Jose Galleon lay lost on the ocean floor, but the mystery surrounding the ship began to unravel in 2015, when the Colombian government announced it had officially been found. Four years later, the Galleon is still 600 meters deep in Colombian waters. The Colombian government hasn't revealed the exact location of the famed Galleon, which is often called the Holy Grail of Shipwrecks. But the San Jose is said to be located close to the Rosario Islands, a tropical archipelago and national park 40 kilometers from Cartagena. Throngs of small motorboats zoom over the waters as they transport beach-going tourists to the islands each day. While being carried across the sea, it's difficult not to imagine the San Jose and its treasure somewhere out there below. Number 3. The Baltic Sea Anomaly More than 90 meters beneath the waves of the Baltic Sea lies a weird object that resembles the Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars movies. Referred to as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, the strange circular entity was discovered by Swedish explorer Peter Lindbergh and his Ocean X team in June of 2011. Pictures and videos were taken of the object, with the eyewitnesses claiming it looked like a giant mushroom and samples of it supposedly brought to the surface for analysis. Conspiracy theorists leapt on the find and hailed it as proof that aliens have indeed visited Earth. And for five years, few other explanations for the phenomenon presented themselves. Then another theory arose, with people speculating that this thing was actually a secret Nazi anti-submarine device. Very recently, scientists from Stockholm University carried out analysis on samples carved from the Baltic Sea anomaly and concluded that it is simply a glacial deposit. But Lindbergh isn't satisfied with that conclusion, pointing out that it doesn't explain why all of his electrical equipment cut out when he arrived into the object's vicinity. And now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick looks like some sort of vicious sea monster that was previously undiscovered. That's why it's even more surprising to see a diver casually swimming beside it. What sort of creature is this? Well, find out next with number two. The Unknown Sea Creature. Today's best pick looks like it's been ripped straight out of a horror movie. This unusual sea creature can be seen swimming beside a hapless diver that looks like it's going to be tonight's dinner. However, things aren't what it seems. While it's true that the creature in the photo is real, it's definitely no sea monster. But what is it then? What you're seeing is actually a colony of corals that made their home on a shipwreck, which explains the large and ominous looking shadow in the background. Most wrecks first come to rest on seabeds with minimal life and limited structural diversity. 
The wreck very quickly forms a reef as currents flow around it and help form a range of settlement opportunities for a mix of species. Low current areas and high current areas can exist within meters of each other as can cave-like habitats and areas open up to surge and wave action. This process is called coral colonization. But why do they look like sea monsters? Well, it's because your brain perceives them to be that way. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Loki's Castle No, we haven't discovered what Loki did after the events of Endgame, we have Disney Plus to tell us that. Loki's castle is actually the name given to a field of five active hydrothermal vents in the Mid-Atlantic Ocean, located at 73 degrees north on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge between Greenland and Norway at a depth of 7,717 feet. The vents were discovered in mid-July 2008 and are the most northerly black smokers to date. These black smokers are constantly venting water as hot as 300 degrees Celsius, making it really surprising to see life thriving there. But as always, life finds a way. Preliminary observations have shown the warm area around the Loki's castle vents to be alive with diverse and apparently unique microorganisms and vent fauna, unlike vent communities observed elsewhere. Researchers also said they have found a microbe which could be the missing link in the evolution of complex life. Know of any other surprising underwater discoveries? Let us know down in the comments below. Also, go check out some of our other channels with other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.